Russell Wilson has now missed his practice for the second straight day. He's dealing with a calf issue, but you see him out there. Okay, he's still out there on his feet. Justin Fields, meanwhile, getting some valuable reps with the ones. Here's more from Mike Tomlin. Uh, we held Russ out again today, um, but there's no new news to add in terms of his health. It can still be characterized as day to day. He's got a minor thing that I don't want to become a major thing, and so um, I'd rather deal with short term misery. Yeah, we were doing a bunch of um, you know drills, and you know it was like the fourth, fifth time he uh, did the slip, fourth time he did the slip push, so just you know fell a little something. But uh, you know, like I said, we had great we had a great training room, we had great people, great doctors. Um, and all that, so I feel I feel good. It's, it's not nothing to panic about or work too worried about at all. Sounds super minor, right? As we welcome in our Steelers reporter Brooke Pryor. But Brooke, what does this mean for the quarterback competition there? Well, Laura, I know that we're on NFL Live and not NASCAR Live, but Mike Tomlin loves the pole position analogy, so we're going to stick with it for a minute. This is like if Russell Wilson and Justin Fields have started the race, but after a few laps, Russell Wilson has to make an unplanned pit stop, and Mike Tomlin is holding him in that pit stall. He's tightening up some lug nuts, and Justin Fields might be gaining a couple seconds on him, but he's not lapping him by any means. In this case, Justin Fields is getting some reps with the ones out here. He was one of five in the Steelers seven shot drill, but he had a great throw to Van Jefferson for a touchdown. And then later in seven on seven, or actually I think it was a full team period, he hit George Pickens over the middle for about a 45 yard gain over two DBs. It was a beautiful throw, beautiful catch. Pickens went up and grabbed it, finished the play, ran into the end zone, somersaulted in there to the crowd, loved it. Lots of cheering. So, I mean, it's still very much, I think, Russell Wilson's job to lose, but these reps are invaluable for Justin Fields and by the way I think everyone around here is embracing the race car stuff I saw a replica Dale Earnhardt car in the parking lot before practice so vibes are great here yeah there's a great theme even somersaults I mean come on you only get that from Brooke Pryor thanks so much for being with us Brooke with the latest there from Steelers camp and Lindsay you heard the second yeah. day for Wilson not practicing you think this is a big deal well two things that Mike Tomlin said really stood out to me we don't want to turn a minor thing into a major thing mm. and we'll go through some short-term misery okay so if you're Justin Fields this is not a minor thing. This is a major thing that you are now getting two days of all of the reps and short term misery. He sure isn't miserable. He's out there playing some football and getting to prove not only to the coaching staff, but to all of his teammates what he is capable of doing. Look, the Pittsburgh Steelers signed Russell Wilson first. Then they signed Justin Fields. It might be Russell's job, but the longer this goes on and the longer they try to keep this minor thing minor, it's a major opportunity for Justin Fields. I like what you did there. I Mina, mean, let's live in a world just for fun that Fields ends up winning this job. What does the offense look like if he is the starting quarterback? Well, part of the reason why I like the idea of Justin Fields winning this job is while there are some areas he needs to improve at throwing over the middle of the field, getting rid of the ball quickly. With him there as the starter, I believe this Steelers offense would have one of the best rushing attacks in the entire NFL. Uh, Next Gen Stats has a stat you guys hear me cite because I like it called rushing yards over expected. Basically, mm. it's looking at how many yards a ball carrier should gain based on the presence of defenders, the blocking. Last year, amongst all players with high volume of carries, Justin Fields ranked fifth, Jalen Warren, oh, pardon me, Justin Fields ranked fourth, and Jalen Warren ranked fifth. So you've got hmm. two Pittsburgh Steelers in the top five NFL-wide <laughs> at creating with the ball in their hands. If they're together in the backfield, behind an offensive line that I think is going to be uh, much better at run blocking that already has improved a lot, alongside some very good blocking tight ends on this roster, that is a nightmare for a league that is built to stop the pass. And I think the Steelers would present huge problems uh, with that specific type of offense. Giving Arthur Smith an opportunity to run the ball more? <laughs> I mean, kind of, I feel like you just created a monster in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I, I'm really excited about what this offense is going to look like, not just in terms of the quarterback, but with the running game as well, what the running game is going to be built upon. Because the Steelers have had to make changes in years past to their rushing attack. They've integrated more Jalen Warren, who does have a much better rush yards over expectation over the last three years than Najee Harris. 170 for Warren, negative 118 for Harris. 
over the last three years. Ooh. And there's questions about how the offense is going to look different with Arthur Smith now serving as the offensive coordinator. Uh, in Tennessee and Atlanta, really a zone-based scheme. Very fast. Get your guys out to the edge. Smaller offensive linemen. But the Steelers last year, Harris had his best success running in gap schemes late in the year after they moved on from Matt Canada. More power, more of that interior attack. And so for yeah. the Steelers, who declined Harris's fifth-year option this offseason, they kind of have to figure out, do we want to build our offense around our former first-round pick and try to get him going, or maybe get more of that zone stuff that we hired the offensive coordinator to hit and get more Jalen Warren integrated into the offense? Yeah, they really had a lot of success even later in the season when so many doubted them even to get to that point, thanks to Jalen Warren. And then Najee as well. They were a bit of a, a tough rushing attack to defend against at times. We'll see if that continues mm -hmm. to improve.